Hey, what is going on, guys? Shiflight is back. I don't know why I said it like that, but welcome to Pokemon Sapphire. Last time we played, we defeated the Mossy Gym and got ourselves dive from Steven. So, um, what I'm gonna do is, um, instead of taking on like all the dive stuff, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go north from Mossy because there's a cave we can visit, and this cave has a couple of trainers to fight. So, we're gonna take on that this episode. Um, instead of doing the uh, the dive stuff that I said about last time, but um, that's fine. Um, we'll keep we'll keep Steve up front, but I want to put Barry in placement in case it's like a double battle or something. Um, I'm gonna spin around Pels because we need to do that. Um, yeah, if you go up here, um, there's something you can do at the top of here. So let's just face these trainers on the way. I'm tired of swimming. Are you up for a battle with me? Yeah, sure, but like, why don't you just like stop swimming then? I don't know. You're the same as every other swimmer once again, but it's fine. Yes, no, I love this. Like every other poor trainer. <laughs> anyway, this Sludge Bomb should do a decent amount, decent amount of damage. Plus, it doesn't have the greatest defense that. Ah, oh, and it poisoned it. Is that like my first poison? I swear to God. I swear it is. I mean, it should hurt, your, hurt yourself. Poison. And what has the most power points? I will finish off a Surf. We'll finish off a Surf. I can't bother to wait a couple of turns and just stall. <laughs> Which I was planning on doing, but it's fine. Uh, that's decent XP for Steve. You're too much. Hey, you had a level 20, 30, you had a one love disc. Are you kidding me? I have seven gym badges and you think that one love disc is going to defeat me? Anyway. <laughs> Ahoy, I am a buff. Tough sailor. I've braved the world seas. Oh, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, uh, buddy. Sitter Ernest with a wingo. Okay. Um, I'm going to just do the same thing and fire a sludge bomb at this thing because I'm pretty happy we just did that and hopefully it kills. I don't, think any, I don't think anything's been one shot with Slash Bomb yet, but you never know. Ah, uh, pretty good. Well done, Steve. You've done that now with Wingo, so. Pelipper? A tentacle as well. Okay. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty much gonna just stick it with another Slash Bomb because it's just gonna do the most damage because of its defense stat. Oh, it killed. I got a crit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I did not expect that, so I thought it'd live, but I guess a critical hit will always help. Um, and I'm a choke. Very interesting. Little variety of Pokemon there, my dude. Not too shabby. This surf should do a good chunk of damage, but it won't kill you though, I don't think. No, not quite. Not quite. Almost though. This is gonna do a decent decent damage. Oh no, that's nothing. Okay. I was wrong, it's fine. Another surf will finish you off. Shame it's not a one hit kill or something. But I'm level 37 for Steve. I like that. Decent stat raises there too. Player defeated Sailor Ernest Groar. I couldn't win. Why are you roaring? What? What? Why are you roaring? You're not. You're not. You're not. Anyway, I'm gonna go right. Right. I'm gonna go. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna go right and take on a couple of trainers on this side because there's a couple more uh, to face before we head on up past that sailor to the cave. So, yo, bitch, stop running away. Stop running away. Stop running away from me, dude. Come on. I was like, oh no, I wish that Pokemon I raised. Well, I mean, I don't think you'd be raising fire Pokemon, would you now? Yeah, I know, I'm a funny guy. What can I tell you? Goldeen? Pretty good. Uh, we'll go for a Giga Drain, actually. Yeah, I forgot I put a PP up on this thing, so it's got six instead of five. Pretty good, pretty good, Steve, pretty good. Oh, it didn't kill? At least I fully restored my health, but that's so annoying. I want that to kill so badly. That's gonna do a ton of damage now. Fuck you, man. That's so annoying. Oh, this is going to kill you, so I don't mind. But, um... Anyway. Pretty good. Seeking's up next. No, I'm just going to, like... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a serve and then give it Giga Drain. And then, like, let it damage me and then heal that back up with Giga Drain. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, Fury Attack, of course. Let me guess, five times in a row? There's the third... It's the fourth, and oh, okay. I was kind of hoping for five so I can get the prediction correct, but it's fine. It should do a big chunk of damage, bring it to red health, probably. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I healed up your fury attack. How do you feel? Oh god, not again. This is gonna be five times. You watch. Oh, okay. I'm just. I guess I'm just gonna shut up now. This ice beam should kill you though. There's a reason why it shouldn't. To be fair. I see. Done. I guess Steve's level 38. Why not? Might as well train him up to that point. But, um, you lost. Oh, dear. Why did you lose for? Yeah, silly buffoon. Anyway, uh, up here isn't anything crazy. There's a, a few trainers. 
I heard you approaching, so I hung around for you. Oh, <laughs> you heard me approaching, so you just fucking wait for me? That's so creepy. Dude, you look so skinny. So we're Cody, let's battle. He's got a star you on his team. Not a problem for a Giga Drain from Steve. Probably, hopefully that'll fully heal my, my HP too. If I can, uh, if I can kill you with this. Come on. No! I want to fully heal myself without having these potions. <laughs> uh, what's next? Another wing goal. That's fine. A sludge bomb we know kills wing goals, so we're just going to go for another sludge bomb. Although, I think you're a high, lower level this time, but this should still kill you, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Well done, Steve. You're almost level 38, too. So, we're Cody. I beg for peace. You beg for peace. Okay, well, I wasn't trying to cause war, my dude. So, like, everything's chill. Anyway, nothing's down here. Secret bases you can go to. Um, I don't think there's two. I think there's like maybe like one more trainer. I don't know. I, mean, I might be going crazy. I might be going crazy. I think I am. All right, I'm going crazy. Anyway, so now if we go on, on on this way, that repel ran off, but it's fine. Go on up here. There is a double battle up here. That is right next to this cave entrance. So um, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, Steve and Barry can take on this gym. This gym, well. Kim, can you tell me what we're looking out for out here? I don't know. Can you can you tell me? Because, like, I'm just lurking around this cave. You had a different era a second ago, and you look completely different now. What the fuck? Now we're in a Swabbler. That's a pretty interesting combo. I haven't really seen that yet. We're going to go free for a Surf, and then just wing attack the Swabbler, I think. Almost wing attack Chance Crawl there. I don't want to do that. Yeah, this should be pretty good. They should kill both of them. You know, Barry being so weak, not being able to finish off a swap blue, but it's fine. No more should go down to the four times weak to you water types. It's pretty good. No XP whatsoever. Oh my god, that was nothing. And that was all you had? No, you didn't come sort of close at all. What do you mean? Anyway, there's nothing over here. What you want to do now is go in the cave. Now, this cave is very interesting. It is raised or lowered depending on the time of day. I'm pretty sure it's time of day. Right now it's raised for me the water, but some of those water levels are lowered. But um, yeah. So basically, the, around this cave there is some soul shalt, soul shalt, soul shalt. Wow, no, it's shoal salt and shoal shells. Wow, okay. But um, if you bring the if you bring four of each back to him, he'll make it a shell bell, which is a pretty good item. I um, don't know what shell bell is. Is it recovers a little bit of your health at the end of each turn? You can give it to your Pokemon, depending on how much damage you've done, pretty much. To the other opponent. But, um... Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna really bother doing much in here. I mean, I can get the first four pieces, but I can't really get the other ones. Because I'm on an emulator, I'm not sure if my clock works to the point that it allows me to go and come back at different times. But, um... For now, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do the top layers, and, um... I'm sure there's YouTube videos out there that has bottom layers for the, um, the Shell Cave. So, um... YouTube that and you'll find it. But for now, we're just gonna, um... We're just going to do the top layer. I'm pretty sure you can do your best stuff on the top layer. Yeah, if you go up this way... Yeah, this way. Alright, so you can go up here, basically, and you can come and do a bunch of stuff in here. I think you have to find four of each, so I'm just going to try and find four of each right now. Nice and tense cruel. Um, Yeah, there you go. So if you come here, you can click on this piece here. And that's uh, my bag is too full. Okay, lovely. <laughs> When is my bag not too full, dude? Alright, um... Let's use a max repel. Oh, we can. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um... What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Use up our soda pops. And then we'll just throw this one away, because I can't be bored. I know, I know, I'm horrible. Anyway, there's a shell shell here, so, um... Take it, go ahead and take that. But around the back here, nothing here. Okay, cool. Uh, so if we go this way now, basically, honestly, so if you just explore, you'll find everything. So I won't, I won't really worry about filling out like a tutorial where they all are, but you have to get four of each. I'm pretty, I'm pretty convinced. And then bring it back to the dude. I don't know why he just fucking sat there his entire life just in that cave, but um. Anyway, we're going to use the max repel now. So then we can actually have more space in our inventory, but. Anyway, um, this way, and then if you go along here... There's uh, an item you can get up here. I'm going to get that for a second. What is this item? It's another rare candy, so I pretty pretty much recommend getting it. 
But, um, yeah, this cave's pretty cool. I like the music in here as well. It's pretty mysterious, but, um... Yeah, uh, there's a third one here. I'm not sure if the fourth one's on the bottom where it's up, but I'm gonna explore down. Just in case, so... Oh, what's this? Oh, it's an item. Yeah, so I don't think here that there's the, uh... There, it's not there, so we're gonna come back up. Oh, I jumped over the fucking fence, dude. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. Go down, run, run quickly. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump over the fence, dude. I swear to God. This is why I'm an idiot. Anyway, we're gonna go up here. Um, if I'm just like, hey, you don't want to jump over the fence, I just immediately jump over the fence, like, literally straight away. <laughs> anyway, um, so I wasn't up here. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay, I saw blue, and I was like, wait, why is it? Is it back there? Like, what the fuck? Um, no, so yeah, you want to go up, not down. So you want to go this way, and then go across. And then it's up here somewhere, I believe. No, it's not. It's this way, and then it go around and up. Yeah, there it is. There's the last piece. Look at that, boom. Yeah, so collect the fourth piece. Took me a while to do that, but um, I'm also gonna catch a Pokemon in here as well because you can get um, you can get Spheels. And uh, I want to get a Spheel so I can give it Dive because I, I don't want to teach any other Pokemon Dive. So um, let's see if it's a Spheel. It's a Zubat. So um, or we'll just keep running away until we find ourselves um, find ourselves a Spheel. So let's see what this is. Give me a Spheel. Give me a Spheel. Oh, that's a zoo, but okay, I'll be back when I find a sphere, guys. There we go, a sphere, beautiful. So um, we're gonna just we're gonna fake it out. It's not gonna die. I know that. So, Warwing's actually a very good Pokemon, and I really did consider it for my team before I started playing. But I thought I'd give Ten Score a try. But uh, no regrets. But um, you know we could have uh, we could have done with something cool here. Anyway, it's great ball. If this doesn't catch, I'll just throw an Ultra at it. But I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, one, two. Three, yeah, we got it right. All right, cool. We got Sphiel, our new HM slave, as opposed to Zigzagoon. I'm pretty sure we had before. Well, I'm not gonna nickname you HM slave. I'm not gonna be an absolute prick to you as well. But um, I'm gonna use an escape for now and get out because I can't really do anything with the stuff I have unless I have the other four. So um, I'm just gonna leave. Where are my escape ropes? Where are my escape ropes? There they are. Boom. Route one two five. I like it. All right, we're gonna fly back to um. That's that summary. Okay. How is Musty get Sphiel out and um replace him with someone else who uh, is a high enough level? I think we'll just get rid of Tentacruel and then give Sphiel Surf just just for like, just for the purpose of um. Just to get through this last bit, and I'm pretty sure Tentacruel is pretty good for levels, which is why I sent him out against okay, so his trainers. But um. Yeah, level 37, but it's fine. Tentacruel, you'll be back. Don't you worry, my dude. But, um, yeah, so you're gonna want to go and go to dive. What if you dive? I know you can learn it. So, yeah, it's not a bad move, but you might also have surf, because it, it, it basically dig, but water type. That's basically all it is. But, um, we're gonna get the one core. I do recommend having a skill on your team, though. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not, like, neglecting it by giving it HMs, but, um,. It's definitely, a, it's definitely a Pokemon worth it. Now, I'm going to give Strength to Sphiel as well, because I want to just, like... Not really give Strength to anyone just yet. I mean, you, you do need Strength for these next couple of bits, too, so... Get rid of, uh, get rid of Ice Ball. No, I didn't get Ice Ball, Body Slam. Anyway, now we need to give it Surf, because we don't have Tense Scroll anymore, so, um... Wait, hurry, I'm going to learn Surf? What the fuck? I did not know that. That's so weird. Okay, I guess I guess if you do need to surf on a Pokemon, you can give it to your freaking Hariyama. Big fat belly boy can do a back cover stroke, I suppose. But um, can you learn Rock Smash too? That'd be really good if you could. Oh, you can! Wow. Okay, so this feels actually really good for HMs. Better than I thought it was. So um, I'm gonna get a Roar Beam. So now I've got the HMs I need. I'm um, required to uh, do this next little bit. I didn't realize. I'm not sure if Rock Smash is, but. If it is, we have it. So, um, yeah, if you need a HM save, I recommend catching a spiel for this um, next section of the game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that'll do for now, I suppose. Like, well, we'll end this episode here, and um, we'll take on the next routes um, next time. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching in a bit.